welcome to Life by Design. We fought in we series on goal setting and the power of planning. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been known to talk to you about a very important tool where government, organizations, and companies they use for increase their chances for predict success from whatever they do, in spite of all the uncertainties in the world and things we're not they under their control. Today, we want to take time for just wrap everything together. Look again how companies they use this tool and how yourself can use them as an individual for increase your chance for succeed in life. This and much more in today's show. I'm Joe Abbas Bangura, and this is Life by Design. <laughs> Governments they get two ways where they use this tool for plan on a long term and plan on an annual, annual basis. For part of government and long-term development plan, an example of Sierra Leone, now the fact that for the last 20 years, we don't get four different long-term plans the way successes governments don't roll out. During SLPP 1996, President Kaba, late President Kaba in first time warning, we've been getting and called PRSP, Poverty Reduction Strategy Paper, one. It been list the five-year plan where government been get, the SLPP government been, then been get for around the country inside that five years there. The second term, where President Kaba then be, then be elected back, he rolled out PRSP2. It was a long term, five year plan. Intention of government for able for one, the country. When President Anis Bayakuma came, we get PRSP3, where he renamed and call him Agenda for Change. And even now, we get PRSP4, long term, five year plan of how they want for one, the country and then call them Agenda for Prosperity. That's a long term. And what in government then they do, every year then they take this five-year plan, break them into a 12-month target and say, over the next 12 months, inside this five-year plan, this is what we intend for achieve. Then take and go to parliament, parliament look them, debate them, approve them, and allow government for spend on the basis of waiting the minimum plan and waiting the minimum approve. When governments do this, governments they increase their chances for make sure say they can able for plan, work towards them plan and achieve them plan standing. Make we talk about companies. Companies and organizations, on the other hand, also get their own long-term strategic plans them, what they can they do, and also get annual budgets we based on then a long term plan saying they where they take twelve months out of these five years or however long they've been planned for and say this is what we're going to do over the next twelve months. Then they take this plan to the board, the board look them and board approve them. That is what gives them the mandate as a direction where then they run the business for the next couple of, of, of months, if not twelve months as the case may be. But when it comes to mortal man, a lot of us don't have concrete plans for we life. Most of us, all we we get are just wishes. We're not in a paper at all, at all. We can plan for companies, but when it comes to WSEF, we never get concrete plans them for we life, where they in writing, where we they follow up diligently in terms of how we plan for make we run we life. Some people can even end up for just fold their hand and say, well, all things are God in hand, now God no more, now he know how this year will go for we, if they ask somebody for a plan for the next 12 months. And again, we've been jokingly say, what do you think will go happen if the Minister of Finance or the Chief Executive of an organization team up before Parliament or team up before a board of directors and ask them what's in the plan for the next 12 months and say, well, they're not going to be able to know all things are God in hand. Imagine that. What would you say about that? If we can't accept this from the government and can't accept this from we boss them within our office, the question is, why can you accept that for yourself? Let me now look in details how companies they use this tool. Like we said the other day, now five major steps now in the in this entire goal setting process. Five major steps. I'm for showing how our company they use them five major steps and they number one, companies they always be clear about their goals, set clear goals. How company they set clear goals? At the beginning of every year, you see a company they set goals with and they talk about the volume of sales with and supposed to make, the revenue with they want to achieve for the year, profitability, then profit margins, they want to increase their customer, increase their share, the market share, and also they want to control costs. If you want to increase your share in the market and customer by how much you want to increase them, Companies, they start first with very clear goals. If you're not, the goal not clear, you're not going to know when you're able to achieve them. So number one, companies set clear goals. 
Number two, steps where they help companies and governments and organizations for able to achieve their goals. Number two, then they identify the resources where they require for able to achieve their goals. And so number one, set clear goals. Number two, identify the resources. So when companies set clear goals, they want for moving on to the next level where they look at what are the financial resources where they need. Now overdrafting will get for take, now loan then will get for take in a bank. How much staff then they need for the next 12 months? Do they need new products or new services? Do they need to open a new branch? Do they need to buy in new technologies? So company says, this is our goal for the year, and these are the resources that we need for able to achieve we goals them for this year. The third steps in companies increasing their chances for success when they don't plan, identify their goals, and identify the resources and activities, number three, then they take action. <laughs> what you go say, well, I, I suppose for no that everybody knows, yes, then they take action. Not to everybody will plan, they take action. And until you take action, you plan the left in a paper, when a just paper and pen meet up together. So next, the thought in companies, then they take action. Assuming, we don't give the examples just now. Now, new staff that you want for, for, for employee, what do they do? You they advertise the vacant positions in a newspaper. You they call the people in for interview. The one that you don't take, you write a letter, give them, and say, when I begin for work. Now, money the company may want, they, they apply for bank loans. Now, new products they may want, then they design the products, roll out the product to the market. Now, new equipment, then they buy the new equipment. Then they open the new branch. Companies take action. Then set clear their goals. They identify the resources where they need then they take action. Number four, companies, they monitor their results. They're not just they plan and implement. Every now and again, companies, they look back and see how far they don't they go, which then goals them, with them in plan, we compare with what they do in reality. Then they design various reports then they use for able to do this. Some of their reports also can involve next one can be sales report. So then a customer report, if now somebody where they go for go with new customer, they want for see how many customers then you the you the new customer you they bring out for month compared to waiting will be non set goals then for you for make you able to forget for the month. Some of their reports they also that their income and expenditure. And then they meet regularly for look at their reports. So some of their reports are on a daily basis, so then a weekly basis, so then a monthly basis. But companies, they monitor their performance versus waiting them in plan. And the fifth and final thing so companies do, where they ensure and even increase the predictability of success, companies, they take corrective action. Every now and again, what you set out for do, what you implement, different things can make sure so you don't achieve Waiting, you've been set out for achieve. It means you need to take corrective measures. Companies then, it can involve training their staff much more in the new skills that we require for making them able to do this. They can sack some staff for them. They can hire new staff. They can change their selling price. Maybe the price has been too high, they sell all brand can low. And then they review the product's quality, what they mean they make. This product here, people criticize them a, a, a little so they make we know they sell. Let we adjust, let we improve the quality, let we improve the packaging. Companies take corrective measures. And when companies do this repeatedly, they set out their goals, they identify their resources, they implement, they monitor their results, and then take corrective measures. If you do it repeatedly, the chances are so great for make companies and governments and organizations achieve their goals. When we come back, we want to look at how this can apply to you as individuals. It's one thing to talk about it happening in companies, but can it happen for individuals? The history of the struggle is rich with the stories of heroes and heroines. Some of them leaders, some of them followers. All of them deserve to be remembered. Born to a family of illiterate parents and Troubled all my life. I remember the days I went to school without lunch several times. I had to walk back from school, a more than seven mile journey. After school, I would join my parents, my mother who was selling um, cooking ingredients in the market. Failed my O levels, I dropped out of school. Then I met with a mentor who made me realize that if you make new and better choices, you could transform your life. Went back to school, took my O level exams and had a scholarship to go to the United States of America to study leadership and entrepreneurship. I am back, managing director for four businesses, helping young people 
And the program I do on television, Life by Design, is to give people hope and tell young men the story of the African child is the same. From nothing, we can be something. Welcome back. Now we take the same things that we we'll run through, our company, they apply goal setting strategy, and they will apply to Motor Monday now. Let's come to you personally as an individual. <laughs> Point number one, set clear goals. So as an individual, you can break your goals into category. They may be financial goals, some of you know academic goals that you get um, in terms of what you want to achieve in academia, academia. You want to go achieve your first degree. You want to do masters, whatever it is. Some of them are health and fitness. Some part we, we really don't, um, we, we body degree problem. And doctor don't tell you, say, you need to watch your body, watch your health. Some part we, now business and career goals, now we want to focus on. And some part we, now intimate relationships, you want to marry the next year. Whatever it is, you have to set clear your goals. Like company, set them goals in terms of what they want to achieve. Growth, profitability, market share. Companies specify you have to be clear with your goals. And need I say, it has to be in writing. It has to be in writing. Now let's look at how we can be specific with your goals, because it's also very, very important. If you set out any panel goals, and also I don't tell you so just now, you get for be specific. I, I'll give you an example. What if somebody say, my goal inside 2015 are for be healthy? <laughs> Compare with somebody we get a goal, say, uh, we get a goal winner for lose weight inside 2015. For be healthy and for lose weight, compare those two goals with somebody who say, well, fine. I want to lose 20 kilo inside six months in 2015. Inside the first six months in 2015, I want to lose 20 kilos. It the help the person for making for divide 20 kilo by six months, you didn't know, say, every month, this is how much I for lose for making able to achieve my goals. So the more specific your goals are, the greater your chances that you're able to achieve this goal. Number one, set clear goals as an individual. Number two, prepare a plan of action on how you will achieve these goals. Same like for companies, waiting at the resource system where you need. Take the same example, somebody wants to lose weight. You want to lose 20 kilos inside six months in 2015. Now, so fine, your activities might involve going to the gym three times a week or go for a good jog. One hour each time, one for one. Jog down the length of the beach, jog up your street, wherever. That's an activity. The second thing where they go in at this person in list now for make it cuts down the amount of starchy food where they eat and the amount of sugar where they put inside in body. And um, maybe soft drinks where for reduce. If you drink sick, you say, well, no, no, one soft drink for day or eliminate soft drink completely. You want for cut down on the quantity of food where you they eat. People can do that, and that could be part of your activities. And somebody can say, well, you stop, left for stop for it late at night. Doctor don't tell you that most times. Left for it late at night, where you eat and go sleep, you know they do well for somebody who wants to lose weight. And, um, and, and another thing where you can say, well, fine, I go find a partner, we'll get the same goals where I go get for work with. Detailed plans, it has to be detailed. I want to lose six kilos, I want to lose 20 kilos in six months, and this is how I'm going to do it. So let me move to the third point. If you don't set down one day, what is the next thing? You have to take action. Like companies take action after they don't plan, you have to take action. I want to say again, no matter how well you plan, no matter how, how masterfully you plan, unless you act on those plans, then just become pen and ink in a paper. Take massive action. For the person who say, well, you want to cut sugar now in food, maybe not buy soft drink. Pull all things on your fridge, give away. <laughs> Just give away the soft drink. And anything, chocolate or anything when a sweet thing, where you know, say, if you did, they go tempt you for making it, uh, not just buy them. If you not bring a can of oats, you not go, you not go, you not go attempt for it. Uh. So maybe you want to announce now you also say, you know what, to everybody, <laughs> as an action plan, everybody, this, uh, this is short. I know they drink soft drink again. I know they eat late before I sleep. And then for reduce me rice, me plate, rest plate in size by half, whatever that the decision you want to take, announce unto people and I use. That is how you take action. Now, um, you know, you want for also say, whenever it's time for go job, whenever it's time for go to gym, get up and go. Get up and go. Get up and go. And something else, somebody suggested the other day, he said, 
in case you want to really, really brace yourself to make you act, put cash box. And say, anytime you break this rule, you need to put 10,000 there. <laughs> 10,000 there. And every month, the person way in business, you know, like at all, they forget that that money there and go get <laughs> How about that for motivation? Because it helps motivate you. Now, what I'm trying to say at this point, take action. If you plan, you know, act. You know, be able to achieve your goals. Point number four. Companies, they monitor progress. How do you monitor your performance against the things that we've been planned for make you achieve? Number one, fan book. Who say you they write your progress? You've been supposed for train three days a week, one hour each day, and five days a week. You get on Monday, you're not able to do on Tuesday, you're not able to do on Thursday. No turn down. It was okay. Your successes and your failures, write them down. Observe, determine them, the people, the places where then failures then they occur. Note them down. It's very, very important for you. Because if you organize them times then they, you can able for know where things go wrong and it will help you for do the fifth point where now for make you take corrective measures. So that means if now the timing where you said for your exercise now ain't been too, um, it's too early enough or it's too late enough, you can change the timing. Instead of morning, you say, well, I go do an evening term. Instead of Monday, I go do on Tuesday because Tuesday look okay for me. Instead of Monday, you will take corrective measures so that you can able to keep to your commitment where you make. You might also, part of correcting, you might also want to spend less time around the people them way, not to help you for achieve your goal. So I'm telling you, <laughs> you know, when you meet somebody where now you force they offer you something, now you force they offer you chocolate, now you force they offer you the things where you want for stay away from, and because now your friend you go on for doing, possibly you want for stay away from that person they force. If you want for to achieve this goal, corrective measures you should be able to take corrective measures. Sometimes they not coach you get for take. Sometimes they use yourself by yourself. You know they for keep the discipline. Hire a coach that will be part of the corrective measures. Like I say again, announce your decision all over the house again to everybody and say you know what. I want for me to help me. Let nobody not give me soft drink again at this host. Nobody not give me this. Nobody not give me this. But you came for enlist everybody. But I want for say again, the most important thing, you have to keep going. When you don't get the corrective measures, take the action again. Repeat them again. Check the results. Take corrective measures. Take action. Check the results. Take corrective measures. Check, take action. Now, I want, for, I want for really bet you, and I can put money down. That if you continue to apply this consistently, not only to your health goals, but all other goals then are your life, I can bet you 10 cents. Your chances for achieve your goals in life, they increase dramatically. They increase incredibly. So that your results inside 2015 not going to be by accident. It will be by design. Accord to Business is delighted to introduce C2B Print and Publishing Limited, situated at 20 Old Railway Line, Brookfields. C2B Print and Publishing is an arm of a call to business group of companies with headquarters in London. At C2B Print and Publishing, we deliver the highest quality printing you can find at very competitive prices. Our staff and professional operators have a combined experience exceeding 15 years in the industry with local and international expertise. C2B Print and Publishing offers prompt services with a top quality Heidelberg presses which are of precision German engineering. Contact us now for your full color printing of magazines, posters and flyers, corporate identity stationery, brochures, annual reports, calendars, etc. Call us today on 030-999-911 or 088-999-933. C2B Print and Publishing. We meet all your printing needs with a touch of class and excellence. Welcome back. We can't close the program today if we not give you we Ebola updates. We, <laughs> like we've been saying, we Ebola reports may not take center stage, but now for obvious reason has to now take this slot with the game. We now for make we see how we don't come so far inside this um, Ebola epidemic we don't affect for the last several months. If you look at your screen, I just want to read for you um, who said we don't come out. May 2014. The total number of cases, them new cases, and where they be reported inside May, now being 14. June, 185. July, 327. August, 2014, it, it doubled back to, or almost doubled to 559. September, 2014, it more than doubled to 1,202. 
October 2014, 1,611. This is a new case they talk about. And November has been the worst case inside this epidemic. It go to 2,063. But then we begin with a sigh of relief inside December 2015, where the cases dropped down to 1,552. And inside January, it dropped again, January 2015. The total new cases for January 2015 are 590. So you see the stretch. We start from 14, and we don't reach 590. We go up to 2,063, don't come down back to 590. And um, 590, now almost the position where we've been there inside August last year. Now, we are winning this war, but we must avoid complacency. The virus not done yet. Somebody they tell me the other day that it go to Infrena Treat in Company of the ACN for making high five. And I say, mm -mm. They say, I don't get that confidence there yet. For can begin high five you when Ebola there around. So you shouldn't start shaking hands. You shouldn't start violating those things, taking care of your sick. No, take them all going to hospital. Ebola not done yet. Now, just one Ebola case you need for make you able to make this virus start all over again. Now, from one case, we've been starting with Nakai now. Don't forget it. Don't be complacent. We are winning the war, but it's not yet won. Let's still continue for FET. We want for Yari from you. Go to our Facebook page and um, www.facebook.com forward slash LBD. Like we page and post your comments there. Or you send we email na info at lifebydesign.sl. You can also find we on YouTube. Search for Life by Design on YouTube. Lots of videos in there where you go download and play at your own convenient time. And also, um, if all of this fail, you can send a text message or call we on we number 030-600-600. Make a close with what Abraham Lincoln say. The best way for predict your future than for create them. Peter Drucker, management guru, also say the best way to predict your future is to invent it. It's not to wish for the future you want, but it's to work at it, it's to create it, and it's to invent it. On behalf of our sponsors, Afrisel, a call to business, the Ministry of Youth Affairs, and the National Youth Commission, I want to say, keep designing. Keep taking the actions required in your life. And one of these days, we will celebrate you living your dream life. God bless you. <laughs>